an interstellar object known as 3I Atlas is now speeding through the inner regions of our solar system, having already crossed the orbit of Mars and moving rapidly toward its closest pass by the Sun. At this very moment, it is racing toward what astronomers call its perihelion, the point in its orbit where it will be nearest to our star. Yet, despite the significance of this event, we can't observe it from Earth. The Sun's glare has completely swallowed it from view. As our planet sits on the opposite side of the Sun from the object, we are effectively blind to 3I Atlas until it emerges again. This perfect alignment, known as superior conjunction, will occur on October 21st, followed just days later by its perihelion on October 29th. For now, we wait. Cut off from direct observation, unable to see what changes may unfold as it hurtles into the sun's intense electric and magnetic fields. Scientists are asking familiar questions. Is it a fragment of rock or ice from another star system? Could it be an unusually large comet? Or is it something more mysterious, perhaps a kind of interstellar technology? None of these questions yet have answers. What we do know is that 3I Atlas has been behaving unlike anything we've seen before, displaying anomalous activity and movement that has puzzled astronomers across the world. From the start, its flight path has been unusually precise. Entering the solar system at roughly 58 kilometers per second, the object is expected to reach nearly 68 kilometers per second as it sweeps around the sun. Based on available data, it could be among the largest interstellar objects ever detected, possibly stretching anywhere from 5 to 50 kilometers across, a scale far beyond that of typical comets. But its size is only one of many oddities. When first spotted, it appeared with a faint reddish hue, common among objects that have traveled through interstellar space, their surfaces darkened by cosmic radiation over millions of years. But as it moved inward, it began to glow a vivid green. Its coma, an expanding cloud of gas and dust, dominated not by water vapor, but by carbon dioxide. This makes it compositionally distinct from most comets, which tend to shed water ice as they heat. Adding to the mystery, researchers observed a highly unusual nickel to iron ratio in its dust, and a polarization signature more extreme than any previously measured implying that the particles scattering sunlight around it may be electrically charged or structurally unique. Even its tail seems to defy physics as we understand it. Rather than streaming away from the sun, 3I Atlas's tail appears to point partly toward it, an inversion that suggests strong electromagnetic interactions are at work. This could mean the object is not behaving like a traditional comet at all but is responding directly to the complex electric fields that fill the solar system. As it descends into the inner heliosphere, it's entering a region where the sun's electric and magnetic forces grow vastly more intense, and that encounter could determine what happens next. Unlike previous visitors from beyond the solar system, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, 3I Atlas travels almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the same flattened disk in which all the planets orbit. This level of precision is rare. Most interstellar bodies cut steeply across the plane at odd angles, making 3I Atlas's trajectory all the more curious. Some have speculated that this is no coincidence, that its path could be guided or influenced by something beyond ordinary dynamics. Others insist it's simply a remarkable alignment of chance and physics. Either way, its motion continues to captivate both scientists and the public as it approaches the most critical phase of its journey. When it reaches perihelion, 3I Atlas will be roughly 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun, slightly farther than Earth's orbit. At that distance, the object will experience its maximum acceleration and heating, bombarded by solar wind, electromagnetic radiation, and intense plasma interactions. These forces may strip material from its surface, alter its structure, or even trigger outgassing events that could dramatically change its brightness. But for now, we can only speculate. With the sun's brilliance hiding it completely, no telescope on Earth can watch as the interstellar traveler meets its moment of closest approach. The uncertainty surrounding this object has inspired fascination and unease in equal measure. 
astronomers, astrophysicists, and sky enthusiasts have all put forward their interpretations, some grounded in hard data, others in imaginative speculation. But beyond the mystery of its composition or origin, 3i Atlas serves as a reminder of how little we truly know about the galactic neighborhood through which our solar system drifts. From an electromagnetic standpoint, 3i Atlas is entering the Sun's plasma domain, where charged particles and magnetic fields shape space itself. The solar wind, a continuous stream of ionized particles, flows outward along curved spiral paths, carrying the Sun's magnetic influence far beyond the orbit of Pluto. Objects like 3i Atlas, especially those with large ionized comas, interact strongly with these fields, producing complex electrical effects. This could explain why its tail points sunward and why its polarization readings are so extreme. The interplay of electricity and magnetism in space, still poorly understood, may hold the key to unlocking its behavior. Yet, there's also a symbolic side to this story. Astronomers studying its path note that during perihelion, 3i Atlas will appear in the constellation Virgo, directly opposite Chiron, the mythological wounded healer, and in conjunction with Venus, a planet traditionally associated with love and balance. In astrological interpretation, Virgo governs themes of health, purification, and healing, while Chiron represents transformation through suffering. The idea that a foreign object from interstellar space would align with these celestial archetypes at its moment of closest approach has sparked poetic speculation about meaning, about the possibility that this event reflects an energetic or spiritual awakening at both personal and collective levels. Whether one believes in astrology or not, the timing is certainly evocative. Many cultures throughout history have regarded comets and unusual celestial appearances as omens of change. While modern science no longer reads the sky in such prophetic terms, the emotional resonance persists. There is something deeply human about watching an object arrive from the depths of space, unseen for most of its journey, only to sweep through our solar system in a flash of mystery and light. It awakens the same sense of wonder that has always drawn people to the stars. Still, from a purely scientific perspective, there are no grounds yet for assuming anything beyond natural phenomena. The unusual color changes, alignment, and electromagnetic behavior could all be the result of unfamiliar materials reacting to the solar environment, just as Oumuamua's impossible acceleration was later explained by subtle outgassing of hydrogen or nitrogen ices so too might 3i Atlas's anomalies find their explanation in chemistry and physics. Yet that doesn't make it any less remarkable. Each new interstellar visitor expands our understanding of how matter moves between stars, how solar systems exchange material, and how the galaxy itself evolves. When 3i Atlas passes behind the sun later this month, no telescope, optical or infrared, will be able to track it. Even powerful instruments like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory's coronagraphs, which block the sun's light to observe surrounding space, are unlikely to detect it. Its brightness is simply too faint. Only if it experiences a sudden surge in luminosity, perhaps from a major outburst or fragmentation event, would it briefly appear in the coronagraph's field of view. For now, astronomers can only monitor indirect signs, such as shifts in the solar wind or possible dust trails, though such signals would be extraordinarily subtle. This period of invisibility will last until at least mid-November, when the geometry between Earth and the Sun changes enough to bring the object back into view. If 3i Atlas remains intact, it will then move outward, eventually passing near Earth's orbital distance in December, coinciding almost exactly with the winter solstice. That will be its closest approach to our planet, still tens of millions of kilometers away, yet close enough for renewed study. Ground-based observatories will resume observations, and scientists will look for any differences in its brightness or motion that might reveal what happened during its hidden passage. 
In the broader picture, the story of 3i Atlas is one of cosmic exchange. Our solar system is not isolated. It exists in a sea of drifting debris from other stars. Most of the time, that material passes far away, unseen and unmeasured. But occasionally, as now, one of those wanderers crosses our path. To detect such an object at all is a testament to the precision of modern sky surveys. A century ago, 3i Atlas would have come and gone without a trace. Today, automated telescopes scan the heavens each night, capturing faint blips that tell stories billions of years in the making. Some researchers see interstellar visitors like this as keys to understanding panspermia, the hypothesis that the seeds of life could travel between star systems on comets or asteroids. If 3i Atlas carries complex organic molecules, as early spectroscopy suggests, it could represent a tiny piece of another planetary system's chemistry. Studying such objects allows scientists to compare the building blocks of life across cosmic distances, hinting that our origins may not be unique to this solar system, but part of a grander galactic pattern. Others, inspired by more spiritual perspectives, interpret its timing and symbolism differently. They view it as a messenger, a reminder of connection, renewal, and the deep interrelationship between consciousness and the cosmos. The appearance of 3i Atlas aligning with potent planetary configurations has led some to meditate on themes of healing, balance, and awakening. Whether one regards these interpretations as poetic metaphor or genuine energy, they reveal how the same phenomenon can speak simultaneously to science and spirit. Eventually, the object will depart, slingshotting back into the vast interstellar void from which it came. It will likely never return, vanishing into the dark between stars to continue its endless voyage through the galactic sea. Yet, for the brief moment it passes through our neighborhood of space, it leaves behind more than data points and orbital plots. It leaves a sense of wonder a reminder of how profoundly alive and dynamic the universe truly is. Its fleeting visit etches an imprint of curiosity and awe into our collective awareness, a spark that reignites the human urge to explore beyond the limits of what we can see or measure. Its journey is a testament to motion itself, to the ceaseless exchange that defines the cosmos, the solar system is not an isolated island adrift in emptiness. It is a node in a vast interconnected network of stellar systems, all trading matter, energy, and perhaps even the precursors of life. Comets like 3i Atlas are the wanderers, the couriers that carry messages from one star to another, weaving invisible threads between distant suns. Between those stars drift countless other fragments, some the shattered remains of planets long dead, others the frozen embryos of worlds yet to form. Each one bears the fingerprints of its birthplace, a unique signature of chemistry and history encoded in rock and ice. In the end, perhaps what matters most is not what 3i Atlas is, but what it represents, the continuing mystery of the universe and our hunger to understand it. It challenges the limits of our observation and imagination alike, bridging the gap between empirical science and the timeless wonder that fuels it. As we await its reappearance later this year, we are reminded that not all knowledge comes quickly. Some truths must travel light years to reach us, glowing briefly in the night before fading back into the dark from which they came. For now, the interstellar visitor continues its silent voyage on the far side of the sun, unseen, untouchable, and utterly extraordinary. When it returns to view, we may learn more about its nature, or we may simply marvel again at its passing. Either way, it has already done what the best cosmic phenomena always do. It has invited us to look up, to wonder, and to remember that even amid the vast emptiness of space, the universe is alive with connection.